guys. Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room, hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. I just had to share this because it was confirming what I said when it came to Candy either quitting the Real Housewives of Atlanta, stepping away, being fired, not, you know, being offered the contract that she would prefer. So deciding instead of accepting that, I'm going to step away. Listen, to all of us, it really doesn't matter because it's her life. I could care less whether she was fired or she quit. But that has been the debate on was she fired or did she quit? Now, I share my thoughts on it. And, you know, there are some people that just say, look, Candy don't need that check. Candy quit. She did not get fired. I'm indifferent to it. I really don't care. But my personal opinion, I'm going to stick to that. Everyone has the right to feel how they want to feel. But based on the events that led up to her announcement, and even on the same night when she was walking the red carpet and she was being asked questions from other you know, people, correspondents, we'll call them, and bloggers on the red carpet, to me, it sounds like it was a contract situation that she was not uh, favoring. So she decided to step away. That's not to say that they're done with her because I don't believe that they're done with her. But I mean, forever when I say that. And she could be done with The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but she said they'll be doing other projects and things like that. And and, and fine. I'm, I'm happy for her. But I don't believe that anything really transpired in the couple of weeks from when she was doing her Amazon Live and other things that she was doing and people were asking her, have you heard anything? What's going on with Real Housewives of Atlanta? And she was saying... Well, they have us sitting around. Nobody's heard anything yet, but people got things to do. And, you know, we have plans to make. So I don't believe anything happened in those couple of weeks that made her decide. Um, You know what? I think I'm good on this. I'm just going to step away and I'm not going to come back. Then her being offered a contract where she was offered less episodes and less money. We have to be honest about it because even in the last season, which we know, or it was reported, I should say, we don't know because it's not like we saw the checks, but we have been told that she was making $2 million. And in the last season, they were talking about how she wasn't really showing up a whole lot or she just had a whole lot going on. She was busy. And yeah, she was busy. She had a lot going on. So why wouldn't it behoove them to offer her less episodes, less money? Because it it's not even really a personal thing when it comes to Candy. It's money. Why would they continue to pay these big bucks to one person when they could cut and bring on other people and... And, and save some money. I mean, honestly, it's the economics of the matter. It's not even really so much a personal thing because I know there are a lot of people that are like, good, I'm glad she's gone. She wasn't bringing anything. She was boring. I mean, a lot of people had a lot of comments, but I did want to share one person's comments on this matter because when I found out that Armand Wiggins was guest hosting on TGIF Fox Soul this week, I was like, oh, that, you know, good for him. I'm subscribed to him. I've been subscribed to him for some years. And not sh- not that I should even have to say this because, listen, nobody agrees with every single thing that anyone says at any time all of the time, right? That should go without saying, but I'm just going to say it because it's, I guess it's the popular thing to do. Even though I'm subscribed to him, it doesn't mean that I listen to everything that he shares or I agree with everything that he says because I don't. So there, you got it. I said that. But I've been subscribed to him for a lot of years. And some stuff he talks about, I'm not even really into because I'm not into all of the female rap stuff and whatever. And he does talk a lot about that stuff. But 
he has been saying this for years and I mentioned this when I talked about Candy and why her not coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the reason that she's giving doesn't really make sense at this point, but it is what it is. When they were discussing this on TGIF, I said, before Armand even said anything, I said, I bet you he's going to say what he has been saying for years about Candy. And he did not disappoint. And whether you agree with him or not, I just thought it was funny because he has been saying, <laughs> he has been saying this about Candy for years. So I'm actually glad that he didn't hold back just because he was on Fox Soul, TGIF, on someone else's platform and buttoning himself up and being something different. I actually liked him being on there. Now, a lot of people in the comment section were like, get rid of him. Don't bring him back. I don't like him. Well, listen, there are a lot of people that were saying the same things about Funky Dineva until they warmed up to him. And then when that all that whole thing happened and that blow up situation happened and people were like, bring Funky Dineva back. People are so wishy-washy sometimes. It's just like, that's why you just kind of have to take what some people say with a grain of salt <laughs> because some people are up today and down the next, okay? But let's just go ahead and get into what he had to say when they talked about this topic. It's revealed on the Grammys red carpet that she's going to take a break from the Real Housewives of Atlanta after appearing on the franchise since 2009. She says, I decided I'm not coming back this year. It's been 14 seasons and they allowed us to sit around for a little too long. She's tired of waiting for them to come back and book her. She got things to do. And she added, during that time, I had started working on a lot of other things. Are you surprised? And who do you think should replace her, Al? Oh, good question. You know, I think it's time for Candy to take a break. I don't think it's over for her, to be honest. I think she's probably going to take some time off. We saw that Kenya took time off. Portia took time off. And of course, Nene took time off. Um, so I think this could be good for her. We know Candy is always chasing a bag, always working, always got a new project in the, in the hopper. And she probably just couldn't put up with the delay in the scheduling and, and versus her getting to other bags that she's got going on. That's how I interpret it, because she is like a like a staple, right? She's been there since the very beginning. So we look at Candy as one of the franchise people. People. She got other bookings she needs to confirm and she wants her, uh, you know, her, her deposit. They taking too long. I am not mad at her. I'm not, what do you think? Right. <laughs> I think this is the best news I heard all night. Get rid of candy. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey. Yes, 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 yes. I cannot. Listen, I cannot stand candy. I'm sorry. Why? I'm so ready. I oh, cannot no. stand candy. Why I'm, do you, not, why do you have a problem with candy? Candy can't sing. Yes, Candy, can, uh, Candy cannot Armand. sing. Candy cannot sing. We have to stop doing this. Candy Armand. cannot sing. Candy cannot sing. Candy cannot sing. Candy want everybody's job. Candy want all the money. And Candy holds too many grudges. Candy feels some type of way too much, and she doesn't allow room for growth. You say one thing to Candy, she mad at you for 20, 30 years. You're stopping bags while trying to take the bags. Move around. Because like you can't even get into it with Candy, or she's like mad and holding a grudge for like the next 10 seasons. So I think Candy needs to go because this is the entertainment business. We might get into it. We may not get along, but we have a job to do. And you can't take everything so personal. Candy takes everything so personal. And she's not that entertaining. She's not that interesting. And she's not that polarizing. So I say good riddance, Candy, Candy, and bring anybody else in. I don't care. Phaedra, <laughs> Nene. I'm not even the biggest Kenya fan, but I can take Kenya and Portia, you know, over anything Candy. I'm over it. I'm so glad Candy is gone. I was going backflip when I found out that Candy was not coming back. Every year we have this conversation about the housewives and the housewives of Atlanta and who should come back. I'm like, just get rid of Candy. Get rid of Candy. Bring Marlo back. I don't know. Just get rid of Candy and leave her gone. All right. So you heard what Armand had to say. And listen, I only wanted to share that because I just thought it was. <laughs> Listen, you can hate him, you can love him, you can disagree with him, agree, whatever. But I, I only wanted to talk about it because it was pretty much confirming because he was on TGI after he talked about it. I don't even think this was something that he would have talked about on his platform because at this point in time, he doesn't even really talk about stuff like this anymore on his um on his YouTube channel. But he has talked about 
the housewives here and there, you know, every once in a while before. But he has talked about candy and he would say, I cannot stand candy. Candy want all the money. <laughs> and I just talked about that the other day. So when I heard him say it, it was funny to me because it's like, dang, I just said that he, if he knows about it and he says anything about it, I guarantee you this is what he's going to say. And that is exactly what he did. He did not disappoint because he was on somebody else's platform and he shared how he how he really felt. It's his feelings. I don't agree with you know, him with everything that he said about Candy. Obviously, Candy can sing. Uh, the, the the singing thing, I've heard a lot of other people say Candy can't sing. Candy can sing. Her voice is different. You know, there are some people that say that Macy Gray uh, can't sing. And there's some people who really love her voice. Everyone's voices are different. Not everybody sounds like Beyonce or Mariah Carey, okay? Or Celine Dion. Everyone is different. Now, I can't sing, okay? I might be able to hold a tune or sing along with a song, but I'm definitely not going to be one of those people that are out there trying to sing. So I can't sing. Candy can. So let's don't go there. But anyway, he didn't lie when he said Candy wants all the money, and she does. And that's one of the reasons why I still do not believe. I don't think she was fired because they don't, unless it was like a Phaedra situation where she was actually she wasn't offered the opportunity to come back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So that essentially is being fired. But they definitely did fire Jenny Wynn from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. They definitely did do that. But with these types of situations, they don't either offer you what you want and they know that you're not going to accept it. So therefore, it's like, instead of you being fired, you're quitting but it's not to say they didn't offer you something. When Candy was on the red carpet and she was talking to a few of the correspondents, she mentioned about the negotiations. So this was a decision that she made after being presented with the contract with terms that were not desirable for her. So people can say all day long, Oh, well, they didn't fire her. Well, uh, duh. No, she wasn't fired. I never said she was fired, but I'm saying the reasons behind her decision to leave and when doesn't make sense to me based on the things that were said prior to and since. Because prior to it, she was waiting. And it had only been a couple of weeks. It wasn't like it was a couple of months and she was like, you know what? I got other projects that I've I need to get pinned down. I have dates that I need to confirm. I can't continue to wait any longer, so I'm just going to go ahead and let that go. Because listen, with her being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta since 2009, you mean to tell me that she couldn't have prompted them to say, "Look, I've been on the show for all of these years. I really need to know the details now based on other projects." that I have in the works, things that I'm currently working on, things that I plan on working on, and I need to have dates pinned down so that I can make sure that I am available for filming. So can we just go ahead and get into this? And they wouldn't go ahead and do that because it's been many months now, right? So you can love her, nothing wrong with that. But if we're honest, we cannot deny the fact that she was presented with a contract, but the terms weren't desirable for her. So she decided to not move forward with those terms. So yeah, we can say that she quit if you want to look at it in that way. And she wasn't fired. I don't believe she was fired. I believe that they offered her something because they still wanted her presence a little bit, but it wasn't what she she's used to getting and times have changed it's been 15 years going on season 16 she's been on since season two so ultimately it is time it is is definitely time and I don't even really say she should come back I'm not against it but in what capacity would that be but yeah I just really wanted to talk about that because I just thought it was funny when Armand (laughs) shared his thoughts about it because he did not say anything different than what he's been saying over the years and it's the PC 
or shall we say politically correct thing to do to say, oh, well, Candy, she's good. She's wealthy. She's got all these things going on. She's booked and busy. She doesn't need that check. Trust and believe if they offered her what she got before or maybe even more, do you think she would have declined it because she got other projects going on? She would have made it work because Candy does not turn down money when it makes sense. And so it sounds like the money that she was offered did not make sense for her fiscally. And Andy shared his thoughts on a situation. One of my subscribers shared it with me, and I appreciate that. And I'm just going to play some of it of what he had to say, which in my personal opinion, because I don't believe that there's any love loss, I believe that Andy may have felt a little bit blindsided by her coming out and already sharing the news that she wasn't coming back and he wanted to give her flowers and there's nothing wrong with that. But I believe that that was his way of going ahead and severing that connection right now so that he could continue to move forward and proceed with what they're trying to do with the Real Housewives of Atlanta at this point in time. Announced last night on the Grammy red carpet that she's not going to be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta yeah. after an unbelievable run. Unbelievable. How many seasons was Candy I on that it show? was 14, babe. Holy crap. Yes. Incredible run. And you think about how much she not only went through on the show, but brought to the show. When she came on, she was with um, AJ. Mm -hmm. He, but between filming her first season and shooting the reunion, was killed. Wow. She lost him. Mama Joyce was disapproving of AJ in her first season. This was season two of Atlanta. It was Sandy's. It can't Sandy. It was Candy's first season. She also in those early seasons did the music and wrote tardy for the party, Insane. which has become, you know, canon. I mean, it, it's just, it's just iconic to the, to the moment. Uh, she fell in love with Todd. He was working for truly original, That's right? Yeah. Uh, when they were on their trip in Africa, she brought us Mama Joyce. She brought us Bolo. She brought us the dungeon, <laughs> bedroom candy, Don Juan, the old lady gang. I mean, it goes on and on. She was always very true to herself. She always, um, she wanted to be the best. What she, she has been one of my favorite people to work with. In my whole time, first as an exec at Bravo and then as an EP of the Housewives and um, just, you know, hosting Watch What Happens Live. I love how competitive she is. Yeah. I love how thoughtful and smart she is. She is so strategic. She would call me um, anytime she had a thought about either the way was the way the show was being marketed or not marketed uh, mm -hmm. or about the way that it was being scheduled or she had a lot of really smart opinions and uh, and thoughts. And, and she always wanted to, she was always wanted to know more. Well, what's your strategy here? What are you thinking? It was always a great dialogue. And then sometimes at the end of the conversation, she would say, you know what? I'm glad I called. I totally get it now. Sometimes she would say, y'all are wrong. Uh, and I'll, and you know, and a lot of times, by the way, she was right. right. So, um, you know, there's that. She always brought her authentic self to whatever she was doing. Uh, and I'm excited also because she just, she came into the show with her own um, 
obviously her own name and her career i mean she's got a huge thing yeah candy was a talented is a talented star she's not you know no offense to anyone else she's not just a rich wife of someone no she's a, a rich grammy person. winning she's songwriter and performer artist yeah yes yes it's incredible yeah what she, the cachet that she brought and one of the reasons i love having her on the radio when she comes through town or anything i mean she wrote bills 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 no scrubs uh on and the list goes on and on she worked with whitney houston mariah carey she's in mariah carey's uh autobiography i mean she's got a long history as a songwriter and performer and now you know as a producer of broadway shows and actress um so Andy coded nights who could forget that exactly anyway she really i know that she's going to continue being a success in everything she does uh she's we had a we had a long talk the other day uh she and i and todd on the phone i appreciate her saying you know what i think this is just time uh and i the she knows the show is at a crossroads right now mm -hmm. and i don't even want to talk about where we're going with it maybe yeah. tomorrow i'll talk a little bit more about that but i don't think this is about where we're going i think it's just about celebrating her right now so yeah stopping it right there but i appreciate him for for doing that because i believe that was him pretty much letting the public know no we didn't essentially fire her but i do believe that the contract that she was presented was what was the catalyst behind her making the decision to bow out gracefully leaving out you know leaving on top and we'll see where things go from here for her i'm not one of those people that feels like her life is going to spiral but I do believe that with change and pivots come choices and decisions that will ultimately be for the best and the benefit for, you know, her. And that may mean not closing down all of her restaurant locations, but I'm just basically saying it is a lot to own a restaurant. It is a lot, not just money, but definitely money, but time and stress and headaches and turnover and all of those different things so the what was it called uh, blaze yeah the blaze steak and seafood that one was already struggling while she was on the show so i don't know i'm just saying she may close down a few of the restaurants and just keep the main the main one the um what is it? Yeah, old lady gang. Just keeping the the flagship one. Keep that one open. Close down the others. It happens in business. I've been there. I've had multiple locations and I've downsized. And I'm definitely <laughs> no candy. I'm not doing all the things that she's doing and, and whatever. But it's a lot. Having multiple business locations. And I don't care if you have 500 staff members. Honestly, the more people you have staffed, the more headaches it can definitely be. It really is a lot. So as she gets older and her children are getting older and needing her more, it's probably one of the best decisions for her right now. Now, the money, listen, if they had offered her the money, because we know, like Armand even said, <laughs> Candy want all the money. So because she didn't get offered all the money that she's used to getting, that's why she turned it down. So I I just see things pivoting for her. She'll probably be able to focus more on the entertainment aspect of trying to obtain the EGOT, becoming an EGOT, I should say. Because she said she already has the Grammy. Um, so I guess she wants an Oscar, a Tony, and an Emmy. So it might be a bit harder to do those things being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.